This is section 5.4, systems of equations. So let me show you the homework. <coughs> so we have three to 31 odd, page 465. <coughs> page 466. Okay. <coughs> Okay, number five, <clears throat> x squared plus y squared equals eight, x plus y equals zero. <clears throat> so y is equal to negative x, like that here, x squared plus negative x squared is eight, <clears throat> two x squared equals eight, divide by two, take the square root, x is plus or minus two. So since y is negative x, I have two, negative two, negative two, two. Number 11, Solve by elimination, <clears throat> 3x squared minus y squared equals 11, x squared plus 4y squared equals 8. Multiply the top equation by 4. That will force this to be a negative 4y squared. 12x squared minus 4y squared equals 44. Add them up, y squareds drop out. 13x squared is 52, divide by 13. x squared is 4, square root property, x is plus or minus 2. Either 2 or negative 2 squared gives me 4, so I'll plug 4 here. 4 plus 4y squared equals 8. Subtract 4. <clears throat> Divide by 4. y is plus or minus 1. So plus or minus 2 or plus or minus 1. Keep in mind that actually represents four points. Okay, so it's negative 2, negative 1, positive 3, positive 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2, 1. So all four possibilities when I write it like that. 17. Uh, this system. Y is equal to negative X squared, plug into here, X cubed minus two X minus a negative X squared. That comes out to be X cubed plus X squared minus two X is zero. Factor out the X <coughs> and factor further X times X minus one, X plus two equals zero. So X is zero, one and negative two. Plug back in Y is negative X squared. So negative zero squared is zero, and negative uh, one squared is negative one and negative two squared is negative four. So zero, zero, one, negative one, negative two, negative four. <clears throat> okay, 21, solve for X in the first equation, X equals two Y plus two, plug that into here and here. Y squared minus parentheses, two Y plus two squared equals two times two Y plus two plus four. Square this, you get four Y squared plus eight Y minus four. Combine over here, 4y plus 8, negative 3y squared minus 8y minus 4. Throw these two guys on the left side. Negative 3y squared minus 12y minus 12 equals 0. <clears throat> Factor out a negative 3. 4 gives me y squared plus 4y plus 4 equals 0, which factors into negative 3 times y plus 2 equals 0. y plus 3 squared equals 0, so y equals negative 2. So then for x, x is negative 2y. Uh, X is sorry, 2y plus 2. So 2 times negative 2 plus 2 is also negative 2. So the point of intersection is negative 2, negative 2. 25, first equation, y equals 16 over x squared. Plug that in here. x squared plus 4y plus 16 equals 0. <clears throat> 4 times 16 is 64. Multiply both sides by x squared. x to the fourth plus 16x squared plus 64 equals 0. This factors in x squared plus h squared equals zero. That has no solution because this is always positive. 27, add the equations up right away. 2x squared equals 10, x squared is five. X is plus or minus radical five. Messed up over here. X squared is five, put that over here. Five minus y squared is one. Add y squared, subtract one. Five minus one is y squared. Y squared is four, so y is plus or minus two. So plus or minus radical five, and plus or minus radical two. Again, that represents four points, plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, and plus, minus. 31 looks a little bit clumsy because of the fraction. 
But I notice if I multiply the top equation by two, that gives me four over X. So when I add this, it'll cancel out. So the top equation multiplied by two, four over X minus six over Y equals two, negative four over X plus seven over Y equals one, add them up, <clears throat> that drops out. And one over Y equals three, multiplied by Y, three Y equals one divided by three, Y is one third. Plug in one third right there, four over X minus six over one third, is two divided by one third is multiplying by three. Six times three is 18. Add 20, four over X is 20. Multiply by X, four equals 20 X and divide by 20, X is one fifth. So one fifth comma one third. All right, so these are some of the problems from section 5.4.